What's going on, y'all? How's everybody been doing? How's everybody been doing? So most of y'all already know, I recently transferred terminals. Uh, nothing against my last terminal. My main reason for switching is to go back home. Most of y'all already know, Florida is home. Tampa is home. Even though I'm from Atlanta originally, Tampa is home. That's where my kids are. That's where my bills are. So I need to get back home. Um, the whole purpose for going up there was honestly to get my foot in the door. Since I had a hard time getting in down here, I figured I'll go up there, live up there, and wait for a position down here to open up and then transition. Now, it took me almost a year, you know, to get this transition, but nonetheless, I got it, and this is where we are. Now, ideally, I would have wanted to come to Tampa since the Tampa terminal is closer to my house versus Orlando, but Orlando terminal is not that far either, so to me, it's not a big deal. Um, it has been a transition. Um, still getting used to a few things. Um, some of these dispatchers, I'm still, you know, trying to get familiar with them. Some of these different regions that I'm touching, I'm still, you know, trying to get adjusted to it. Um, now, even though the terminal I run out of, it's bigger door-wise, like Orlando is like 205 doors or six doors, somewhere around there. It's over 200 doors, we'll put it like that, versus where I came from. It was like 180-something doors, but Orlando has less line haul drivers and less freight volume, but we get a lot of freight that comes in, but not a lot that comes out, and that's just Florida, period. Um, so I am getting adjusted to that. Now, being though that I'm in Orlando, um, I already know Monday night, I can already pretty much know where I'm going to go. I'm either going to go to Jacksonville and I'm either going to go further up or come further down, meaning go south. I might go to Val, Valdosta, and either go back down south, north, or west. Or they might just send me straight up to Atlanta and send me somewhere from there. Um, now, being though that I'm further south, you know, the chances of me going to some of the places that I used to go, you know, it's slim. Meaning, Texas, you know, I love going out to Texas, you know, when I was running out of West Side. Within my five days of running, you know, there were opportunities where I got to go to Texas. You know, I've been to Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, Tyler, Garland, Houston, and yeah, I got some pretty good miles. And a lot of times coming out of Texas, I had to go straight to Memphis. So yeah, that's a good night. Um, but the chances of me now seeing those areas, like I'll probably never see Oklahoma again. <laughs> um, being a Florida driver, I'll probably never see Texas. Um, the furthest I've gone so far is Memphis and Jackson, Mississippi. That's the furthest west I've gotten to go. Um, now, north, the furthest I can go is probably Virginia uh, within my five day work week. Um, now, as far as the miles, you know, I am a system driver. Um, so I'm pretty much doing what I was already doing up there, just a different, just a different domicile, really. That's the only difference. Um, miles, my first week, I did pretty well, 2,500 miles for the week. Um, ideally, that's what I want to aim for, but. You know, you're at the mercy of Central as far as where they send you and your miles. But, you know, that's 25. I'm content with that. Uh, if I can get more, of course, I'm grateful. But lately, you know, my first week again was 25. My second week was lower. It's like 22. The week after that was 23. Um, so it's been low. But as I've said in other videos, you know, over here, they don't run you hard. They don't run you crazy here, you know. Um, but yeah, um, everything's been good. I really have honestly no complaints. You know, the only complaint I really had was that one night where I only got 322 miles for the night, you know, and you know, that's the thing about going to some of these break vaults, you know, you'll go there, spend some hours and then, you know, by the time you get out, you really have no hours left, you know, but you know, that's not the norm to run 300 something miles, you know. Um, I'm trying to see. I was assigned, I did get assigned trusses. I'm not a vacation driver. They assigned me a 22 Volvo. Uh, runs pretty well, no complaints. As far as where they've been sending me, um, 
I guess, some system. I can go literally anywhere. Um, but I've been seeing a lot of Mobile. I've been seeing a lot of Pensacola, a lot of Montgomery, um, a lot of Valdosta, a lot of Jacksonville, Birmingham. Um, I don't know when y'all are going to see this video, but this past Friday, um, I ended up going back to my old terminal, I ended up laying down in West Atlanta. And from West Atlanta, they sent me to Jacksonville, Jacksonville to Orlando, and that's where I ended my week. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just the mini update. I really have no complaints. Everything has been going well, you know, for the most part. Now, as far as my long-term plan, do I plan to ever transfer to Tampa? Uh, it would be ideal, you know, it'd be closer to, you know, my house, so. You know, maybe one day if it ever opens up, maybe I'll pursue it. Maybe not. Um, as far as do I plan to stay on the system? You know, that just depends on the bid because, you know, I'm literally the bottom driver in Orlando. Um, so if somebody wants it, obviously they can bump me off it. But I don't see that happening. If anything, I might get a 3-2. But that's pretty much the update. So my next video... Um, I'm going to talk about, you know, some pros and cons of having a schedule run versus being a wild driver. Because I've done, you know, both sides. I can kind of speak on that. So be on the lookout for that video. So as I always tell y'all, thank you to all my day one subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate all y'all. And as I always tell y'all, y'all take it easy and y'all stay safe.